Welcome back to the channel bringing you the latest news from around the world. I'm sure you've heard the news, something big just happened in the world of global navigation and geopolitics. On July 4th, 2025, as America celebrated independence, Iran made its own declaration, cutting ties with the US-controlled GPS. Tehran's move wasn't just technical, it was a bold geopolitical statement. For years, every Iranian plane, ship, and smartphone relied on a system controlled by its chief adversary. The US could degrade or deny GPS access at will, a silent weapon in modern statecraft. Iran's switch is a direct response to that vulnerability. Behind closed doors, Iranian leaders weighed the risks and rewards of breaking from the US orbit. China's Beidou system offered a new path, one free from Washington's control. The decision signals a deepening partnership with China, moving beyond oil and trade into high-tech and security. Iran is no longer willing to play by old rules, it's building a new framework where American influence isn't absolute. This is more than a software update, it's a fundamental shift in Iran's strategic posture. The world just got more complicated, and the silent war for control of the skies has entered a dramatic new chapter. The message is clear. Iran is charting its own course. The global balance of power is shifting one satellite at a time. At a so what is Beidou? It's China's homegrown global navigation satellite system, named after the Big Dipper. Launched in the 1990s, Beidou was China's answer to the risk of US GPS denial. After three development phases, Beidou achieved full global coverage in 2020, directly competing with GPS. With over 30 satellites, it offers positioning, navigation, and timing services worldwide. Unlike GPS, Beidou was built for both civilian and military use, managed by China's space agency. Its standout features higher accuracy in Asia-Pacific and a unique two-way messaging capability. This allows users to send short messages, crucial for logistics, disaster relief, and military coordination. China aggressively promotes Beidou, especially through its Belt and Road Initiative, embedding it in infrastructure projects across Asia, Africa, and beyond. Beidou isn't just a tool, it's a pillar of China's ambition to lead in global technology. Iran's embrace of Beidou is about survival. Years of US sanctions and the threat of a GPS kill switch made dependency untenable. By switching, Iran insulates itself from a crippling vulnerability. Military and civilian systems can't be blinded at a keystroke. The move cements Iran's strategic alignment with China, deepening military and intelligence cooperation. For China, it's a win, a key Middle Eastern partner for Beidou. Technically, Beidou offers Iran better accuracy and secure communications, vital for modernizing its military and economy. The system's messaging service gives Iran independent encrypted channels for military and emergency use. Ultimately, this is about leverage, diversifying technology and reducing reliance on a single adversarial power. Iran's message, it won't be isolated and it has powerful friends. In a world of open hostility, this is a pragmatic, calculated risk. Iran's move is part of a global trend, the end of America's tech monopoly. For decades, US designed standards like GPS shaped the world. Now China's rise is creating a multipolar tech landscape. Nations are choosing sides, US and allies with GPS, China, and partners like Iran and Pakistan with Beidou. This decoupling extends to 5G, semiconductors, and AI. Dozens of countries, especially in Asia and Africa, are integrating Beidou, often as part of China's Belt and Road Initiative. China offers not just technology, but an entire ecosystem infrastructure, support, and diplomatic backing. The strategic implications are huge. A coalition operating on a secure, independent platform challenges U.S. dominance. It enables coordinated action outside Western surveillance, creating a new digital sphere of influence. The days of unilateral U.S. control are over. The contest for the skies is silent but fierce. The outcome will redefine global power in the 21st century. For Iran's military, Beidou is a game changer. It eliminates reliance on a hostile system, boosting the reliability and accuracy of missiles and drones. Secure, two-way messaging enhances command and control, even in contested environments. Real-time tracking and communication make Iran's forces more resilient and responsive. On the civilian side, logistics, transportation, and emergency services gain efficiency and reliability. Improved navigation can save lives and streamline supply chains. The shift will spur Iran's domestic tech industry, fostering innovation and reducing foreign dependence. While the transition requires investment, it's a step toward technological self-sufficiency. For citizens, it might mean better apps. For the nation, it's a foundation for a new economic future. 
Beidou is more than a satellite system. It's a strategic upgrade for Iran. Iran's decision signals a fractured global tech landscape. The world is splitting into competing technological spheres, US versus China. This isn't just GPS versus Beidou. It's about every foundational technology. Nations must choose, align with the US and its rules or with China's alternative model. Many will try to balance both, but pressure to pick sides will grow. The result, a patchwork of standards, more complexity, and greater risk of conflict. Separate satellite networks mean less transparency and more uncertainty in crises. The key question, can these systems coexist or will they fuel a zero-sum race for dominance? Iran's switch is just the beginning. The great game for control of the world's invisible infrastructure is on.